It is a pleasure to welcome you to the first Interpol World event. It has been over a year in the making to bring together over 4,000 participants, 200 companies from 30 countries, and law enforcement from across the globe. I would like to thank our Singaporean hosts for their unwavering support in this time. His Excellency Lee Kuan Yew, the legendary founder and architect of modern Singapore, understood better than anyone else the importance of knowledge and innovation in a fast-changing world. Today, as we look to Singapore's vibrant economy and skyline, Interpol feels truly honored to hold this event in the country he helped to build. And while it has certainly been a challenge to organize, I think what we see here today is a much needed step in the right direction. This is because we now live in a world where the spread of technology and the speed of its evolution are exciting, yet worrying trends for humanity. On one hand, there is much fanfare when new devices, programs, or software are released, and rightfully so. Technology can make us safer, our lives easier, and industry more profitable. But rarely do we consider the other hand, how the latest, greatest new thing can be used by criminals to target our personal, financial, or our corporate security. Unfortunately, technolo technological developments have outpaced these discussions, so by the time we start speaking about the risks and vulnerabilities, it is already sometimes too late. <coughs> we certainly learned this at the turn of the century as we watched criminals aggressively exploit the Internet, cheaper international travel, and the anonymity of virtual business and shipping. They were ready to innovate and proved adept at tailoring these new developments to their needs. Law enforcement were not as ready and they have faced their fair share of challenges in trying to catch up. And now they are also trying to keep pace. We are starting to hear more about threats targeting critical infrastructures, smarter, more networked homes, and medical devices connected to vital organs. Simply put, technology will continue to create security challenges going forward, despite making our lives easier, safer, and industries more profitable. At the same time, criminals will continue to find and exploit loopholes for their benefit and innovate to achieve their goals. With this unlikely to change, we must get better at confronting these realities. And while industry can't do it alone, and law enforcement can't do it alone, we can certainly do it together. This is because we now live in a world where security threats are also a substantial cost of doing business, and the interests of law enforcement and industry have greatly converged. It only makes sense to pool our resources, exchange expertise, and benefit from our respective strength. Interpol World is intended as a forum that facilitates this type of interaction between us. It is the extra step that physically brings together in one place the innovation of industry and the experience of law enforcement. By drawing on this synergy, this event will help to identify risks and vulnerabilities in new and emerging technology before they become tangible threats that we then have to contain. It will aim to steer innovation towards collaborative solutions that undermine the ability of criminals to prey on weaknesses in cyberspace, cities, borders, and supply chains. 
Finally, it will give you the opportunity to discover Interpol World Office chances to network, ask questions to which there aren't yet answers, learn about new advances being made in the field, and find future partners with whom to work. This is what I believe makes this event unique and important for both industry and law enforcement. Collaboration and partnership are buzzwords for this week, so our shared responsibility and joint ownership of law enforcement and industry when we discuss about security issues confronting us. When we are able to trust one another and work together, we will get the most out of our results. This has so far been promising, so let me give you some examples. Just yesterday, Interpol officially inaugurated its new global complex for innovation, the IGCI, here in Singapore, with a multi-stakeholder approach placed at the core of its functioning in our effort to fight cybercrime. This approach has seen us actively seek to collaborate with industry partners such as with Kaspersky Lab, NEC and Trend Micro. And we have already started to employ this dynamic approach to our work in the field with great success. For example, last year when Interpol launched Operation Strike Back, it was intelligence from industry that unveiled the online threat of sextortion. It was also industry who worked alongside Interpol and law enforcement to help plan the operations that eventually led to 58 individuals being arrested in the Philippines. Similar collaboration has enhanced our ability to detect imminent threats, new trends, and potential vulnerabilities in cyberspace. Last month, cyber threat research from IGCI and Kaspersky Lab revealed to the world how malicious files could potentially be introduced and transmitted through virtual currency. By going public with this new knowledge, IGCI created awareness about a vulnerability that could someday be exploited by criminals but can now be prevented. Ladies and gentlemen, in over three decades as a police officer, I have never seen an event quite like this. One that intentionally brings together industry and law enforcement to see what we can do against a common threat. This is why what I believe we are doing is new and as I have mentioned, important, very important. We could not have held this event without the Singapore Ministry of Home Affairs, EE Singapore and Singapore Convention and Exhibition Bureau. I would like to recognize their contribution. I would also like to thank our partners, sponsors and exhibitors who have enriched this event by supporting and promoting it. I'm confident that Interpol World will become known as the forum which shapes innovative multi-stakeholder partnerships between law enforcement and industry. On this point, I would like to thank the strategic partners of Interpol World who will help us start down this path by presenting some innovative new ideas and solutions throughout this week. And although this event is an historic one, lasting only three days. It's just the first of many that Interpol will hold to strengthen our dialogue and our collaboration. This means in the future we can look forward to many more interactions and collaborative success that will help industry and law enforcement build a safer world together. Thank you very much.